Trenerio atrodo, kad revanšas pavyko, sveikinimui su pergalė, jūsų komentaras po rungtynių. Na, rungtynės šitas reikėjo laimėti, nes, sakykime, aš taip galvočiau, kad tas pralaimėjimas Latvijoje buvo klaida. Tų pačių klaidų du kartus nedarome, tai jau būtų diagnozė. Rungtynės išgyvenome šiaip ne taip, sakykime, be... Bet tikrai su maža rotacija, žinom, kad sirtautaitė davėm dublerių komandai, tai iškritus, iškritus dar vienai žaidėjai tapo iš vis nebe valdomą situaciją. Na, liūdna, bet nu, tikėkime, kad viskas bus geriau. O kokia yra būtent situacija Karunos Kazučiunkės, kurios jau ir nebematėme antrojo pusė, net ir su žaidybinė apranga, taip pat ir jūs tinamiknaitė ten buvo susižeidusi trečio kelno pabaigoje, kas šiam dėm krepšininkiam nutiko? Na, Karolinos situacija, gal sakykime, yra liudnesnė. Šią momentui tikrai labai labai sakė skauda ir žiauriai gaila. Žinau, dėl ko tai atsitinka. Aš nekartą minėjau, kad taip bus, taip gali nutikti. Tai yra nuo nuovargio. Tai yra nuo nuovargio. Žaidėjos nebelaiko. Džiaukimės, džiaukimės, kad ta trauma nebūtų rimta ir jinai galės mums padėti karalienės taurėje, nes tai būtų tikrai labai didelė netektis. Miknaitėj, nieko ten buvusio žaizdos, kažkas, tai nieko rimto, bet tai irgi parodo, kad žaidėjas nepaisant tikrai didelių, didelių, didelių krūvių, Griūna dėl kiekvieno kamulio aukojasi ir pagarba joms, ką jos daro, taisytinų dalykų ir pastebėjimų turiu nemažai, bet visą tai tikrai nublanksta prieš jų tą pasiaukojimą ir tą norą išėjimą į aikštelę be skundų, be nieko. Aš esu laimingas. Kuris laikas jau nerungtiniavo Reičial Teriot? Kokia jos padėtis ir ar atitinka tos lūkesčius, kurios kėlėt prieš sezoną, kai nematom jos praktiškai be kiekvienose rungtynės? Nežinau. Nežinau nieko informacijos, jokios nežinau, kada jinai grįž, kam. Neįsivaizduoju. Neįsivaizduoju. Taip jinai čia naiskai birkštį jaučiasi kaip sanatorijui. Pasakysiu tik tai taip. Liūdna, bet ką darysi? Mano žaidėjo skrenta kaip lapų. Na, yra kaip yra. Aš nieko negaliu šitoj situacijoj padėti. Vanessa, congratulations with the victory and your comments about tonight's game. Well, I think we all played well together as a team and we always found each other when we were open and we made shots. So, I think it went pretty well today. Yeah. It was your third game in Kibirkštis team. How do you feel about that? Uh, I think today was probably the best game so far. I, I feel like Everybody just found me whenever I was open, and I today I happened to make most of them, so I'm very happy and very welcome here, so it's great. Uh, coach, your thoughts about tonight's game? Uh, first of all, congratulations to Kibirkšis. They finally beat us. <laughs> we were the only undefeated team <laughs> till now. No, it's just a joke, but yeah, they obviously a Euro Cup team, a great team. Uh, uh, they have a huge huge size advantage uh, for our young players that's that's the best the best way for development to play against better players national team players uh, unfortunately Rachel didn't play it's better to play against also foreign players uh, of course Lithuanians are foreign for most Latvians but yeah uh, obviously something worked at the beginning uh, but uh, our bench was a little bit shorter than usual so as soon as we started rotating the players the game kind of slipped away and as soon as we gave a Euro Cup team, a 20-point lead, that's it, that's game over. Uh, I can scream, shout, change tactics and whatever, it doesn't matter because the confidence is on the other side and uh, I love that, uh, what was her name, uh, Vanessa, used her uh, opportunity. She actually played against the same age girls, so it was good for her to also play at this level and I, I love that she was uh, confident enough to take the, all those shots because this is basically what we want to teach and it is different to take those shots when you're up by 40 and it's different when you're down by 10 or 20. So it was a great game and uh, thanks for the other team for nice welcoming us here. What can your team take from a game like this? Uh, obviously a lot of things like, like uh, for example the last few minutes I allowed uh, one of the young bigs to play and we didn't have foul limit and I told her hey 
coaches screaming, feeding the post, feeding the post. Well, make a foul. Don't allow her to take the ball right below the rim and make a basket. She didn't. So we can watch video and say, hey, there were four situations where you were able to stop someone. You chose not to. And that's eight points. So something you can take something from anything. So we can lose by 100, by 10 points, or one point, or win by 10. We can take something away. So there are a lot of things for almost every player on our team. Uh, can you summarize the season so far for your team? This is an excellent season. I, I Actually, I couldn't dream of having a better season that we have. Okay, I'm saying this after a 40-point loss, but at the same time, our uh, score is 10-10. We are 50% wins and losses. We're the second youngest team in the league, and, and our average age is 17 years. Some of the players who played in the first game in Charlotte were 13 years old. 13 year old. They, they shouldn't be playing in this. And, and we were hoping not to stay last. We're now fighting for a playoff spot. It's two games left. We're still in the fight for a playoff. That's crazy. So obviously there's a lot to take from this season. I, I, the, the best word for this is magnificent. Because players were called off to national teams under 16, under 18, under 15. Oh, sorry. Under 15, under 16, under 18, under 20. Yeah, so what not to like about this season. It's, it's excellent. Of course, sometimes it's sad to lose by 40 points because, well, you have to say to the kids, hey, you need to keep going. But at the same time, you play against the legends like Petroni. Come on, those are excellent players, yeah, and, and national team leaders. So a great season.